Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate Henry's law constant by using Henry's law. The problem says that hydrogen sulfide H2S, a toxic gas with rotten egg-like smell is used for the qualitative analysis. And it further says that if the solubility condition is there, if the solubility of H2S gas in water at STP means standard temperature and pressure is 0.195 m, this is small m, it means that it is the molality of the solution. It asks to calculate Henry's law constant, it means that we have to calculate Kh value. Well, molality is given here and from this uh, we can calculate the moles of solute uh, we can find out from this because molality is equal to moles of solute upon uh, the mass of solvent in kg it means that 0 0.195 moles h2s is present is present in solvent solvent is waters in 1000 gram h2o from this information this is the data we got now here we have the moles of solute and so this is the mass of solvent and if we look at uh, Henry's law formula then Henry's law states that the vapor pressure of a component in the solution is directly proportional to mole fraction of solvent this is the formula P is equal to vapor pressure and Ks into X X is mole fraction of solute in the solution first we can calculate mole fraction from this data this is the data we have moles of uh, solute we have that is h2s and moles of solvent we need to cal uh, calculate this is the mass of uh, solvent waters we can convert mass into moles here we have the moles moles of h2o is equal to we always use molar mass to convert mass into moles of a compound here we have 1000 grams and the molar mass of h2o is uh, 18 gram per mole means one mole has 18 gram 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 will cancel out you can divide 1000 by 18 and the value which we get 1000 is divided by 18 and the value which we get that is 55.56 55.56 and it is moles as to these are the moles of solvent now we can apply mole fraction formula mole fraction x is the symbol of mole fraction is equal to moles of solute here we have moles of uh, h2s upon moles of moles of h2s plus moles of solvent that is h2o we can plug in the values here moles of h2s we have already that is uh, 0 0.195 this is the value given here 0 0.195 0 0.195 and it is in moles and moles again here we have moles of h2s 0 0.195 plus moles of solvent this is what we have calculated 55.56 same unit will cancel out it is in moles it is also in moles will cancel out now we can add up the bottom values here we have uh, 55.56 plus 0 0.195 and this gives us 55.755 at the top we have 0 0.195 upon 55 point at the bottom we have 755 755 we can divide these values to get the uh, get mole fraction of solute 0 0.195 and divided by the bottom value and so the value which we get that is 0 0.00 and we can round up this figure 0 0.00350 0 0.00 350 this is the mole fraction of solute now here if you look at it says that at stp the solubility of h2s is in water is given at stp and at stp the stp the pressure vapor pressure is it is uh, 0 0.987 and it is in bars this is a constant value you need to remember this unit here we have at, at, at HTP at standard temperature and pressure we have uh, pressures that is 0 0.987 bars so see here we got p-value that is constant value it is not given in the problem but you need to remember this value 
0.987 bars x value we have calculated we can plug in the values and we can calculate kh value that's what we have to calculate let's plug in the values p value is 0.987 bars here we have 0.987 is equal to kh and multiplied by uh, sorry it is also looking like uh, mole fraction i put off your dot mole fraction 0 0.00350 we can transfer this value on left side to find kh value is equal to 0 0.987 and at the bottom we can put 0 0.00350 you can divide these values and so its unit is bar then kh value we are going to get in bars here we have at the top 0 0.987 987 and it is divided by 0 0.00350 and the value which we get that is 282 282 and it is in bars this is the henry's law constant you can see that how i calculated ks value by applying henry's law thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below for more updates on iit je or need exams please subscribe to our channel to get a lot of updates support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.